Hello developers, last month you would have received this email regarding new Android developer verification requirements for your Google Play console account. It says apps must be registered by verified developers in order to be installed on certified Android devices. So for that, first developers must verify their identity, then developers can register their apps. And they have given the timeline also to sign up for early access when the verification procedure starts, when the registered apps will be available from verified developer etc. But for now, what we need to do is consider signing up for early access. This will be an invite only access to start early and complete these requirements. But why do we need to verify our account again? We have already verified our account at the time of creating the developer account or for older accounts we have verified through the verification page. And again why and how do we register our Android apps? What is the use of this new requirement? Is it necessary to complete this new verification procedure? All these points we will discuss in this video. So let's get started. When you go to your Google Play console account, you would have received the same new Android developer verification requirements message under notifications tab. So either click on this learn more option here to open the verification page or click on this Android developer verification option in the left side menu. Currently this is the page it opens. Okay, get ready for Android developer verification. To enhance user safety and elevate Android security, Android will require all apps to be registered by verified developers in order to be installed by users on certified Android devices. Starting in September 2026, Android apps must be registered to a developer with a verified identity in order to be installed by users on certified Android devices. This includes apps distributed via Google Play. Android is introducing this additional layer of protection to make installing apps safer for everyone, to better protect users and to remove the cover of anonymity from bad actors who operate on Android. So they say this is the new security measurement taken care with respect to Android apps. So as part of this, first we need to sign up for early access to complete Android developer verification in Play Console. But before sign up, let's see what do we need to do to meet the new verification requirements. First point, verify your identity. If you have completed Play Console's developer verification requirements, you would have already completed this step and won't need to do it again. That means if you have already verified your account and you are able to see this developer account option in your Google Play Console, then you can skip this step you won't need to verify it again. Next, register your package names. You need to register package names for all of the apps that you distribute on certified Android devices. In most cases, we will automatically register your Play apps. Our latest analysis shows that we will be able to automatically register 98% of all published Play apps. You will only need to take action in specific situations such as if a package name has more installs outside of play than from play. That means if you are publishing Android apps only through the Google Play to the Play Store, then your app must be in this 98% of published apps registered automatically. But if you are distributing your apps to other app stores like Aptoid, T-Store, Samsung Store, Oppo store etc outside of play then you need to register your apps manually. So under manual registration you can manually register package names for any apps that couldn't be automatically registered or that you distribute outside of play. You will be able to do all of this in play console. So this is the flow to register the package name manually in play console. Select the unregistered app. To verify ownership, add key and select a key from the list of your app's public keys. Then to finish the ownership of your package name, you need to sign and upload an APK. So that Android will check and register your app. Okay, this is the manual registration flow. 
Next, registration for new apps created in Play Console. We will automatically register any new apps you create in Play Console. So here while creating the app itself, you need to mention the package name. Then Play Console will collect and check the package name status and register your app for that package automatically while creating the app itself. But if you already use that package name outside of Play, then you will need to prove ownership. This also you can do it in your Play Console account itself by providing package name and your public key. So finally, all of your apps distributed on Google Play can be registered automatically or manually in your Play Console account itself. You don't need to create a new Android developer console account. So when is it necessary to create a new Play Console account? You only need to create an Android developer console account if you only distribute Android apps outside of Google Play. This point I don't understand why should an Android developer create Play Console account to distribute apps outside of Google Play. But here they have clearly mentioned that it is necessary to create an account in the new Android developer console. And I thought of checking the document on this topic but page was not found. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Okay, next. Here the key dates were mentioned to complete the developer verification. Today you sign up for early access. From October 2025, developers who register for early access will be invited to complete verification for any apps that they distribute outside of Play. So if you are using only Google Play to distribute your Android apps, then all your apps will be registered automatically. So you need not worry about this. And from March 2026, the full experience for completing Android developer verification will be available to all Play developers in Play Console. And by September 2026, all apps must be registered by verified developers in order to be installed by users on certified Android devices. This is applicable only in these uh, four countries, initially Brazil, Singapore, Indonesia and Thailand. But by 2027 and beyond, we will continue to roll out these requirements globally. So the complete verification process will be finished in 2027. Okay, now let's first sign up for early access to complete Android developer verification. But this is not a mandatory step. I think even if you don't sign up in October 2025, all the apps will be registered automatically if you are distributing apps only through the Google Play Console. Okay, register your interest in the Android developer verification early access program. Click next. Enter the contact information. I think this is just a feedback form to receive the developer thoughts and interest on this new requirements to improve their Android ecosystem. So you can just answer these questions based on your Play Console account type and usage. Okay, How do you distribute your apps? I use only Google Play to publish my apps. But select multiple options if you are using any other media to distribute your apps. And fill the other details also quickly. Okay, what is your Play Developer Account ID? This is the 19 digit ID that you can find on your Play Console account homepage. Copy this. Okay, next. Complete the form by selecting proper answers based on your experience and usage of Android Google Play. Okay, done. We thank you for your time spent taking this survey. Your response has been recorded. So, as I said, this is just a survey. So, if you have already verified your Play Console account and you are distributing apps only in Google Play, then you need not worry about this new developer verification requirement. Google Play will automatically take care of all the apps registration process. 
But if you are distributing your Android apps in other media or through other app stores, then you need to do manual registration of your apps. But you can do that right here in your Play Console itself from October 2025. Okay. Hope you understood what is this new developer verification requirement all about. Post your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If you like my explanation, please like the video and subscribe to iRecatech Solutions. Thank you.